Okay, I uh, wanted to finish up Workout Wednesday Thermo with a little bit of delta G as it pertains to equilibrium constant. Remember, we call it rat link on that equation. And I have a quick problem here that looks at Ka, so we're going to incorporate prior knowledge from our acid base equilibrium and start to look at Gibbs free energy at equilibrium. So here's another uh, problem from the text. We have the value for Ka, nitrous acid, at 25 Celsius is given in appendix D. Write the equation for the equilibrium that corresponds to Ka. By using the value of Ka, calculate delta G standard for the dissociation. What is the value of delta G at equilibrium? And what is the value of delta G when these concentrations are at hand? Okay. So the first thing we want to do is we want to write out the dissociation in an aqueous system for nitrous acid. And again, nitrous acid plus water is in equilibrium with hydronium ion aqueous plus NO2, NO2, excuse me, aqueous, minus. Okay, and this is the reaction that corresponds to Ka. Remember, Ka is equal to products, concentration of products, over reactants, and we do not put water in because water is a pure liquid. Remember, pure liquids do not involve themselves here. Based on the appendix in the back of the text, we can determine that the Ka value for nitrous acid is Four point five times ten to the negative four. Remember, nitrous acid is a weak acid. This is telling us the level of dissociation at twenty-five degrees Celsius, which is where we're working. At. Okay. So the question, going back to the question, the question asks us to write the chemical equation. We did that, and we want to use the value of Ka to calculate delta G. So that's part B. So this was part A. So now we want to calculate delta G. Again, we need to go back. If we don't know how G and K relate, then we need to go and take a look at our reference material and see that delta G is equal to negative RT ln K. You can also use this if you don't want to use natural log because log and natural log are related. So negative RT ln K is equal to delta G standard is equal to negative RT ln of K. In this case, we're talking about Ka. So the temperature we have is equal to 298 Kelvin. Our R value, remember, needs to be in joules, 8.31 joules per mole Kelvin. And our Ka, in this case, 4.5 times 10 to the negative 4 we have everything we need so computationally let's put everything in we got negative 8.31 joule per kelvin mole 298 kelvin and then natural log of 4.5 times 10 to negative 4. so we set the problem up now we just have to input it in the calculator properly Looks so like we got 19,000 roughly joules, also equal to 19 kilojoules.
okay? So delta G is equal to 19 kilojoules based on the Ka. So we want to know the value of delta G at equilibrium and the value of delta G at equilibrium. Remember that delta G is equal to delta G standard plus RT ln of Q. And at equilibrium, we see that these two values are going to equal each other. At equilibrium, delta G should be equal to zero. Remember, delta G is always equal to zero at any, for any system at equilibrium, right? For any system at equilibrium, delta G is going to be equal to zero. What is this telling us? This is telling us that before any nitrous acid dissociates, before we get any dissociation, is this going to be spontaneous or not? And that is, again, a function of delta G. But at equilibrium, delta G is always going to equal zero. The last thing that they want to ask us is to determine the value of G given concentrations that are not at equilibrium. So they give us that H3O plus, remember H plus and H3O plus are the same, is five times 10 to the negative two. They give us that NO2 minus is equal to six times 10 to the negative four, and that HNO2 is equal to 0 0.2. Again, all of these are in molar, all right? so. If delta G non-standard is equal to delta G standard plus RT ln Q, and we already know delta G, so then delta G is equal to 19 kilojoules roughly plus 8.31 times 298 times the natural log of Q, which is products over reactants, 5 times 10 to negative 2 times 6 times 10 to negative 4, all over 0 0.2. And now we can find the Gibbs free energy of the non standard scenario in the calculator 8.31 times 298 times natural log of 5e negative 2 divided by 0.2 And that is 21.8, so let's just say 22. So we end up with 19 kilojoules plus a negative 22 kilojoules. And therefore, we have a delta G that is equal to approximately a negative 3 kilojoules, which tells us we are talking about something spontaneous at this particular concentration. So here we walk through determination of delta G standard when standard conditions apply. Again, remember standard conditions is one molar for any kind of solution. We use rat link. We see that we have a non-spontaneous. We should know based on this equation that at equilibrium, K is going to be, the, a rat link is going to be equal to G, which we just showed over here. Therefore, delta G at equilibrium will be zero. And therefore, when we're talking about a situation that's not at equilibrium, we substitute in for Q those values, and we see that we end up with a negative delta G, which is in fact spontaneous.